Hey, how's everybody out there? Big announcement I want to make. I'm considering to just just leave YouTube alone. Not make any more videos. It's not something that I, I came easily to with regards to this decision, but I just feel pretty much discouraged by a lot of things going on, you know, with with YouTube. YouTube used to be a really wonderful platform to express myself, to show people what I can do as a singer, songwriter, author, artist, and, and actor. And also to enjoy the talents of other people. Meet new people and, and make friends all around the world, so to speak, you know. YouTube has been wonderful in initially in being that platform that I could show everybody what I'm all about and what what I do and work at getting better and better and I have enjoyed so many wonderful messages of encouragement from people but what YouTube is now and has become it's not the same thing it's completely different the landscape is more driven by advertisement and if you don't pay for advertisement your video just isn't going to get seen unless unless you do something that is incredibly crazy and idiotic unless you curse like crazy or maybe act ghetto or you're super into fashion and or you have a baby do something extremely cute and funny all that stuff seems to just trump some of the stuff I try to do which is to put something positive out there I start trying to throw something positive out in the electronic world and it just doesn't seem to be received with too much fanfare you know I mean other things that kind of give reason as to why I'm thinking about just not being on YouTube anymore is because there are YouTube partners who have amazing views, amazing numbers, and not just one channel. Some YouTube partners have like four, five, six channels, videos on every one of them that are doing good, smacking a home run. Wow, how do you do that? Hey, I don't know their formula for it, but whatever they're doing, it works for them. I'm sure that's how they can make a living off of YouTube. I know I can't. I'm still a starving artist and still undiscovered, unsigned, unknown. <laughs> but that's another thing that kind of lends into why I feel the way I feel. Some of these YouTube partners who are extremely popular, whom I've subscribed to, whom I've added. You know, when you do things like that, you're basically supporting them. You supported them, you have played a role in them being a partner, or in them still being a partner. And what annoys me so much about some of these YouTube partners is that you send them a, a YouTube mail to say, Hey, come take a look at what I've done. Come check out my stuff. And they send you a message back saying, Stop spamming me. Why are you sending me spam mail? Don't spam me. Come on. I think that's extremely hip hypocritical, doesn't make sense. I subscribed to you, I added you, that means I played a role in supporting you. You should support me, not tell me that I'm spamming you. I work pretty damn hard to put these videos together, some of which is a miracle, <laughs> some of which I've planned for weeks, months, even pieces and pieces of tons of video footage to put together and somehow make it make sense and present to you and I'm sorry I don't see it as spamming if I've sub subscribed to you or added you then I supported you and I think you should at least take some time to take a look at my video if you're not going to or you don't want to or you don't feel like it and such you can send me anything but to tell me that I'm spamming you I don't think it's right if I don't think it's fair and I also don't think, I don't think that the the way to success, at least just for me, is to follow a trend. I, I just can't do it. If I do something that happens to be related to a trend or such, so be it. But 
I really try hard not to. I'll give you an example. Does this phrase look familiar to you? Hmm? Blank. Blank says. Okay. Shh. That such and such says. Some person started this and got wild views off of it. And it spawned another video and another version of it and another version. You know, some stuff that white girls say to black girls. Or some stuff black girls say to white girls, vice versa. So many versions of this phrase. So many people getting great views following a trend. Like sheep. And I'm sorry, I'm an artist. I just can't do that. I, I have to be me. I have to be me. And, um, and also, too, about YouTube is that some of these YouTube partners who, you know, never respond to you, never, never support you either for supporting them. It's crazy, you know, why they are pop popular. Some of them are so popular for, for what? Using images of Hollywood stars so that it can draw people to your videos? I thought you couldn't do that. I thought you can use that. That's copywritten images, right? You got some people, some partners who are singing these hit songs off the radio. I thought you couldn't do that. I thought that, uh, hmm, if you don't have proper clearance to do so, you're not allowed to do so. I mean, the minute I did moves like Jagger or even Lionel Richie songs I sang, I mean, I got hit with copyright infringement. <laughs> and yet there are other people who are doing moves like Jagger, getting skyrocketing great views. And I looked at their analytics, and their, their video is being seen around the world. Mine is being limited, held back. I just, I'm sorry, I just don't see some, any kind of fairness in this. I got into YouTube because... Back then, it was fun. Back then, it was easy to put out a video and see it hit a countdown. See a video at number 20 or number 10 or move up the charts and blah, blah, blah. Now the YouTube that it is today, you're not going to make that countdown unless you pay for some advertising. And that's just real talk. So I'm just thinking that YouTube is just... YouTube is a young person's game. And the things that I like to do and and present to all of you out there is maybe it's just not my calling, at least maybe not on YouTube, maybe for some other purpose. I just kind of hope that I would be that dime in the ocean that would get discovered. I'm no fool. I know that that it's it's um, impossible odds to hope for something like that, but. It happened for it happened for the nice guy who sang Chocolate Rain. It happened for the young kid who was singing songs by Usher and grew up to be signed by Usher, Justin Bieber. It happened for a young girl that was singing Justin Timberlake songs and herself got signed to them. It happened for a young kid, Grayson you know, who who sang Lady Gaga song and got signed by Ellen. It happened for him, you know. It, stuff like that just inspired me to believe that if I keep on pushing and putting videos out there, keep on just doing the best I can and learn from my mistakes and keep growing and showing, the right person will will see. The right person will discover me and and know exactly what to do with how to display my talents. But I don't see that it doesn't seem to be in the cards for me. And that's pretty discouraging. So um let me keep it short and simple. I'm I i do not know if I'm gonna make any more YouTube videos, you know. That's a lot of hard work I put into trying to present something a little different and something original and fun and it's it's just downright discouraging that nothing comes from it 
I mean, they emphasize, that was one of the things I learned early on before I did the Fuzzy Soul Tiger channel. They emphasize, you know, the reason you couldn't be a partner is because you're not doing stuff that's original. You're not doing stuff that's up to date and with with the times. Well, okay, I changed all that. Gauge people to check every Friday for new videos. and It's just not, it's just not hitting for me, so... Oh, well, you know, I guess YouTube is not. I mean, I, I, I know that it's a long shot. I've always had that kept in mind, but I guess it's just not it for me. So I just want to thank everybody that's been so nice to encourage, send such beautiful, wonderful, encouraging comments, even to the haters who. Once in a while, I want to say something degrading and, and sometimes unnecessarily racist towards me, you know. Fueled the power for me to, to show you, show you differently and show you that I'm above all that. To show you I'm above stereotypes. That's why I make the videos I make, because I'm not going to... I'm not going to be the stereotype you expect me to be. That's why I throw something positive out there. But doing something positive doesn't garner views. Doesn't catch attention and doesn't get you discovered. And doesn't give you a way out to enjoy doing what you do on a full-time basis. So you don't have to keep doing dead-end jobs. Oh, fuzzy soul tiger, I'm out. Hey, I gave it my try, I gave it my best. Just didn't work. Love you.